I remember talking to the makeup girl one day. This is when we were making our third film, Romans 1220. I was telling her about the lead character in the film, Malky, about his scars, about his tattoos. He needs them, I said. He needs the ink, he needs the scars, he needs the broken nose, he needs the cauliflower ear, they're important. When Malky was a boy, this is what I told her, when he was a boy he was pretty, he had long hair, he was feminine, he looked like a little girl. Sometimes he was actually mistaken for a little girl. The scars are his mask, he's trying to destroy his beauty, he's trying to make himself ugly, he doesn't know this, this is all unconscious. He's trying to destroy the pretty face, he's trying to hide the pretty smile and the pretty bony arse. He's trying to hide it with layers of muscle and paint and scar tissue. He doesn't want to look like a girl. Looking like a girl gets you noticed. Looking like a girl gets you abused. He wants to look ugly. The tattoos and the ink and the drawings of killer warriors scratched into the skin. That's his war paint. He says to anyone with an eye for abuse, jog on you piece of shit. Stay away, I am fucking dangerous. I am dangerous so you leave me alone. I explained to the makeup girl about his inch deep yard wide back. That's his shield, it's a shield. He was abused as a boy, he was abused when he was asleep in his bed. His attacker crept in from behind, he slithered in and he stole like a thief. He snaffled away the boy's innocence, he needs a big back. It has to be big, it has to be broad, it has to be fathoms deep. To fight him off, that's his protection. As I spoke about the importance of Malky's armour, I realised, I realised, I realised that I was talking about myself. I understood. For the first time I understood the unconscious lengths I had gone to in order to never be controlled again, to never be abused again, not by anyone. My whole life had been an orchestrated campaign to build this body into a killing machine so that I could save that small boy. Oh yeah, he was still there. Below the paint and the wound and the thick, thick armour, that small, frightened boy was still there, in stasis, eternally 11 years old.